what's going on guys if i sound a little bit different i just had my wisdom teeth removed so i might sound a little bit different might sound a little beat up but i have some big news to share about simplify i have some big news to share about fidelity and this is going to be breaking news i'm going to be the first one to be reporting about this so last month i put out a video about fidelity they're going to start charging a 100 dollars service fee for certain firms there was nine firms that they were going to charge a $100 transaction fee if you bought or sold using one of their ETFs. And these ETFs included Simplify Asset Management. Keep that one in mind because they run the very popular ETF, SVOLV or SVOL, AXS Investments, Day Hagen, Sterling Capital, Cambiar, Regents Park, Radiant, Adapted, and Running Oak. And that was set to take place on June 3rd. So they had it up until June 3rd to participate in a maintenance agreement with Fidelity. Otherwise, they would have to be charging $100 for every single transaction. Of course, that is gonna eat into people's returns. Now, ETFs, they are a fantastic way to build wealth. In fact, there's over $9 trillion in assets under management in US listed ETFs. And this includes the big boys like JP Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, St State Street, Vanguard, BlackRock, right? You notice that none of these big boys, these big fat cats, they're not mentioned as the firms getting that maintenance fee. No, no, no. None of those big providers showed up. Instead, it was the little guys who had to pay. Now, the video that I put out last month, which said that Simplify, again, they provide the popular volatility premium ETF, SVOLV. They said they were in negotiations with Fidelity. At the time of that recording, now people came to the rescue in the comments saying, if Fidelity keeps this up, they will gladly jump ship to Schwab or look for another broker. They loved SVOLV so much. Some people even saying the SEC should bring charges against Fidelity. I haven't seen this much hate for a brokerage since Robinhood turned heel during the whole GameStop and Citadel fiasco. What a coincidence, GameStop is in the news again. So I had so many comments. I got comments almost on a daily basis like, hey, I'm in support of the little guy and they're asking for an update. So what is that update? Well, guys, I have some great news. Glad to bring this to you guys. The update is finally here. And this quote comes directly from a Simplify representative. This is not my own analysis. It comes straight from Simplify. And I quote, we have signed a partnership agreement with Fidelity which means that our funds will not have a transaction fee. In other words, clients will not have to pay trading fees to use Simplify funds on Fidelity. End quote. This is absolutely fantastic news for those who love Asvolve. They can continue to buy and sell shares of Simplify products on Fidelity and not have to incur that extra $100 transaction fee. This means if you're on Fidelity and you were threatening to take your assets somewhere else, you can keep those assets right where they are. Investors' memories are pretty short. I have a feeling people who said they're going to be leaving are going to be forgiving Fidelity. But if your feelings are hurt forever, let me know in the comments below. And I totally understand where you're coming from. Now, just a reminder that Simplify is a way at alternative investing. Asvolve is their flagship product that produces income. Nearly a billion dollars in assets under management, the fund takes a short position on the VIX. The fund has also paid monthly dividends every single month since they've been out. They're always around that 30 to 32 cent mark. And the fund actually just celebrated their third birthday. Since their inception, they have actually slightly outpaced the S&P 500 in that same time span with dividends reinvested. Just reinvest the dividends, bro. So Asphalt has returned 11% compared to the market's 10%. Now, that is pretty hard to do as an actively managed fund. Beating the market is very hard in any given year, let alone to be able to do that over a three-year span. That's pretty impressive. Wow, guys. Finally, a fund that pays very fat dividends and doesn't constantly erode its nab. You see, funds like this, they do in fact exist. Contrary to many clueless investors, 
Nav really does matter. Saying that Nav doesn't matter is a surefire way to know that person has no idea what the hell they're talking about. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how this fund works, check out the interviews I've done with the folks at Simplify. I'm planning on releasing part two of my interview with Eric McArdle real soon. Someone else who's also beat the market these past three years is myself. Here's evidence of it. Check out my full portfolio and all my weekly trades in the Patreon link below. It's real cheap. My videos are always found in podcast form under the Clash Cash podcast name. Let me know if you have any video requests as I heal from my wisdom teeth surgery, and I'll catch you on the next one.